So, as we talked about episode 163 of An Ordinary, we're going to talk about the newest chapter at the recording of this video of An Ordinary, which is 164. And I kind of want to take a different direction on this video because I, my whole point is the video will sum up at this. Arlo is probably my favorite character in An Ordinary. Fight me. And even though we give him horrible nicknames, no, you can't really deny the fact that Arlo is growing as a person. Arlo is growing as a human being. This situation has helped Arlo become a man more than anything else possible. And I really just love his development throughout the entire series, throughout the entire season. Arlo honestly has is, is the, the student that has thought the most intelligently out of every one of them. And I will always go back to that line that he says, where he says, what is wrong with you? You are all high tears and you're acting like this. And he just was spot on about it. Even though Arlo has a lot of problems at himself that he's continuously still working on, it's really nice to know that he's being more aware of those faults and he's working on ways to correct them so these types of events don't happen again. The reason why I like Arlo so much, especially when different from John, is because Arlo has a purpose for thinking the way he does. Though you can argue that it is not agreeable or is right, but there is a very deep concrete reason about he why he thinks the way that he does. And a lot of it stems from Ray, Remy's brother. A lot of it stems from his own personal experiences. And um, I just really feel that, again, Arlo is just... Um, an amazing character and his ideas definitely have reason and power and a lot of knowledge behind his words he's actually a very wise character um to be put it put it blank, put it blank but what was this episode about let's talk really deep about what the episode was about um the episode was really about arlo and i think this is probably one of my favorite episodes of Unordinary because we really get to talk about Arlo. We really get to dive deep into Arlo and we really get to see his character development. So in the beginning of the chapter, he was talking with Eason. And he's, and it became apparent that there are multiple jokers running around. So the school is about to usher in a new era of chaos. And Eason uh, argues with Arlo that he couldn't send the video, the, the newspaper, uh out because um it was just too much for him Ison said the most important thing you put too much pressure on nose and you ask for too much and he thought about john and he realized he does ask too much for a lot of people but i feel like that's not his personality that's just what comes with um a lot of situations um it's very situational i feel why arlo acts the way that he acts but all of it i feel that it is with the intelligent decisions in um mine but it caused arlo to really think a lot about himself and it caused arlo to really think a lot about the situation and about the wrongs that he has done with two john or with two other royals and other people in um, the Tower of Unordinary. Again, this is all just really good and amazing things. And the ending of the chapter closes with Seraphina finally learning about what, what happened between John and himself, uh, you know, that day. Um, I really liked seeing the interaction between Arlo and Serafina because they are both very lost souls. Like they both really had a certain direction and they believed that direction, but that direction has been taken. So they just don't know what to do. Everything that they looked for and hoped has all been destroyed, especially for Serafina because a one person that she believed with more than anything turned out to be a pathological liar who's been pulling her string all um alone but really seeing these two characters together really just shows us a lot about how far that they have come in good ways and in bad ways and what can they do now to take a leap forward to you know rectify these many situations but it's so big that it becomes impossible for that to happen but definitely seeing the two of them interact with one another it just really um created uh, a lot of things again a basic chapter. See it about Arlo. Arlo's best character. Fight me. 
and that is my video um it's a little short because again it was really focusing on arlo and i want to make a bigger video about arlo and about why i like him so much um i thank you for for watching if you like this video make sure you leave a like and subscribe because it helps me out a lot i thank you for watching and listening have a good night